Okay, so there, there are various hashing methods that we can actually use. So a hash allows us to take some bit of data and then to create a unique signature from that. So the methods that involved uh, cryptography are MD5 and SHA and so on. But there are other ones which are based on non-crypto methods. And one of these is called the Murmur. And this is the, the Murmur hash algorithm here. Uh, so you can see it uses exclusive or and, and or and so on. And it's typically faster than the cryptography methods that we use for our, our hashing. Okay, and one thing you can see here is that Murmur 3 actually has a key in it. So we can do something similar than we do with uh, with our HMAC. Okay, so, so let's have a look at uh, our... code. Okay, so, so what we'll have a look at is FMV. is another uh, hashing method which doesn't use a crypto function. And uh, the most recent version of Murmur is version 3, which has this key method. So what we've done is use a key of 0 here. And that gives us 128-bit hash. So we should find there's th there is 32 characters in there for each hexadecimal digit. And this is the 64-bit equivalent there. Okay, so normally with hashing, what we have is a test vector that we can actually check against. Okay, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is a good test vector. It uses all the, the characters in the alphabet. And when we try that one, uh, we get a uh, 6C. So we'll often go somewhere to be able to find what the test vector is, but in this case what we have is a little test Python program. Okay, and here it is here. And so all we have here is that I've downloaded and installed SM Hasher. Uh, we get the message and then we run the Murmur 3 for a 128-bit bit version. For a machine, we compile for 64-bit or 32-bit. In this case, we've compiled for 64-bit. Uh, this gives us a key of 0. So it should give us the same answer as we have here. Then we'll print out the message. The uh, the result has as a, a hexadecimal value, as an integer value, and then obviously as a hexadecimal value. And we'll do the same for 64-bit, and hopefully we should see the same result for our Murmur 3. Okay, so let's run Python. And let's run our Python code. And there we go. Okay, so there's our hexadecimal value. There's our integer, if we're interested. It's quite a large integer. And here is our hexadecimal value up to here. And we can see that's the same as the code that we actually get here. Okay, so just to make sure that, that everything's still okay, we'll try with a dot at the end. It obviously changes the hash signature completely. And what we'll do is we'll just edit this just to, just to make sure that we've got the same, the same hash signature. Okay, so there we go. So this time we should get C902, C902, and then 69 at the end. Okay, so everything's working fine for that one. Uh, the code, if you're interested, is, is this. This is what we've used. We've used the hash lib here, and we've used C sharp. In this case, we're just zeroing out the, the key. Uh, so the key is 4 bytes long, or 32 bits. and we're just setting that to be zero. Obviously, the, the key that we use, we could use any, any key here. Uh, as long as the other side actually knows what that key is, then everything is fine. So all we really do is that we take, we generate the hash code, we apply the key, 
and then we convert that into um, into bytes here from the hashlib library, and then we convert that back into a hex string with, uh, with a function. Okay, so so that's that's the the function there, and uh, we've outlined the usage of the Python code.